This is some green light good stuff called Poor Mouse. Now, I think I was first attracted to this game because... I mean, well, look at that for a start. It's a mouse flying with its goddamn ears. I mean, that's a strong opening gambit, isn't it? Glidey mouse ear boy with a really long tail, a sort of barbed tail almost. I, I don't know what's going on there. But there's the little mouse bouncing in the desert. Looks rather cool, I think, anyway. But having played the uh, Ghost of a Tail, sorry, I momentarily forgot the name there. Having uh, recently played Ghost of a Tail, I'm all for mouse-based action games. This is... That's when I decided, okay, I'm gonna feature this in uh, Greenlight Good Stuff. Once I saw the mouse using a cannon to bring an eagle down, I was like, okay. And then a stag beetle came. Actually, I don't, I think that might be a rhino beetle. Or maybe neither. My beetle knowledge isn't what it once was. I, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's, that's poor mouse. But the trailer itself isn't done. Because, as I said, I'd already decided I was going to feature this. It looked good, risky, but good. Welcome to our passion project of over two years. It's been quite a while of, of working on this, and hopefully it'll be done within a year, possibly even this year. And then when Who I heard knows? this voice, that because sealed the deal. Because quality takes time, and I should know about the time it takes to make a game, because I haven't made a game in quite a while after I've programmed the original Binding of Isaac. Not that he's showing day. off. And just like The Binding of Isaac, this game is also made by a very small team. Only two or three people, with the artist Nesta Chavez being responsible for all the 3D models, animating and environments, and me being responsible for all the programming, except for what's already built into Unity. This is a very large undertaking, it's and we would like to have voice. your support. So please go and vote on Greenlight, Could fall and share, to that. share this video with your friends, and please let us know what you think of of the game, and whether or not you're looking forward to buying it. <laughs> We'd like to work very closely <laughs> with the community, and put it on Sorry, early that, access, that awkward if laugh that's was possible. Amazing. I hope that we'll have the first area as a playable demo on early access at some point. So please subscribe for more news on our upcoming game, Poor Mouse. Alright, well... There's the trailer for Poor Mouse in all of its glory. I wasn't actually going to include all the Florian speech there, but it's he's got a very arresting voice. I think so, anyway. I first heard him talk uh, during a video where he was detailing a lot of changes he was making to the original Binding of Isaac. Post-Afterbirth, like, like, not, sorry, not Afterbirth, Rebirth. That had already come out, but he was still working on the original old school version of the Binding of Isaac, adding new content to it, and he did a video detailing the changes, and I was just, I was just like, keep talking. Please keep talking, because I love that voice. Which probably pisses him off. I should know, because, you know, I live in the American South, where my accent is something of a novelty, so I get people telling me to just say things in British all the time. And here I am just transferring that onto someone else. Sorry about that. Anyway, I don't know how to pronounce Florian Himsel's name. Himsel? Himsle? Himsle? Himsley? I don't know. I even looked it up on Google before I recorded this, but couldn't find it. Uh, it did bring up a result saying how to pronounce a beard. A-B-E-A-R-D. A beard. A beard. I didn't actually click on that link, so I don't actually know how to pronounce a beard. Anyway, let's talk about Paul Mouse. You're a mouse on an island full of things that want to eat mice. Run, jump, and glide to survive, or fight back with deadly techniques. This is written how he talks. Multiple ways to kill your enemies, included but not limited to kicks, dashes, tail swipes, bomb tossing, trigger pinata bombs, rock throwing, etc. Rescue mice that are surrounded by villains. It's uh, spelt villains wrong. Just add an I there. Not doing that to be a dick, I'm just saying. Just, just add that there. Be the hero and help the mouse village survive and flourish. Many fun side quests to gain trust with your town citizens and with other species. Run races against birds. Collect seeds and use them as a weapon or as health by eating them in battle. Seven areas around the island any turn can be your last. Be careful of the quicksand! So I mentioned while we were watching the trailer that I considered this a bit of a risky prospect. I decided I was going to do it, but I realised that when I was going to do it, I'd need to add some caveats. Because this is one of those ones that, similar to that day we left, 
there's still a lot of potential to go wrong as well as potential to go very right. Knowing that Florian's working on it and he has some pedigree with the, you know, he name dropped the Binding of Isaac, he worked on the original uh, alongside Ed McMillan, that keeps me more, uh, more confident, I should say, that the game will turn out to be something quite decent indeed. But you can look at it right now, it's very, very early, very early days. Uh, he was talking about putting a demo on early access, like not even a game uh, in full or, or like a pre-alpha or something like that. He's talking about just putting a demo on early access, which I'm not fond of, you know, I've got I've to be critical. As you know, this isn't just a place to uh, mindlessly praise the games that show up here. These are games that I want to see do well, that I want to see uh, succeed and flourish on Steam, very much like a mouse survivor village in the desert. A promising aspect of all this, though, is that Florian and the team are very aware of people's feedback. They're monitoring the comments closely. There's a, an almost half an hour long video that Florian put out addressing the concerns. Um, to sort of some of the common criticisms that people have come up with already. So that's a great sign, you know, rather than a lot of these developers on Greenlight who will just double down at the criticism and, and not do anything. Uh, this is a clear indicator that they're planning to make a good game, which you think would be an obvious thing to want to do, is to want to make a good game. But as we've seen time and time again, that's not always the case, especially on Greenlight. So this is an ambitious project that they may be showing a bit too early, and I think that's the biggest issue facing the game, is it's such an early version that we're looking at. And typically I'm more fond of a game going on Greenlight when it's a lot more ready. But I am willing to roll the bones on this one and take a risk and say that, yes, if this game approaches uh, what I feel it's going to approach, if the promise shown in the initial pitch trailer is reflective of the final product, then I'm into it. I'll watch it closely. I'm going to watch this one very closely because we already have a very promising badass mouse game with a ghost of a tail. If we can go two for two in one year, I'm going to be a very happy mouse boy. So, fingers crossed. I'm going to... I'm rooting for it, definitely rooting for this, plus the mouse is somewhat adorbs and you can't really, I mean look at that, he's dressed up like a cowboy in this one, he's got a little hat and a little bandana mask, look at that, it's cute, fuck's sake, oh shit that's a scorpion next to him as well, for some reason I thought it was his shadow because I wasn't really looking all that closely, I was too busy looking at the mouse costume, that's a scorpion, scorpion's a badass. I like scorpions. The band as well as as the arachnid. I like scorpions. 